Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. We are back with another GCT Studios Bushido release. Today we're going to take a look at the new Shiho Clan Faction Starter Set. Now this is not the only Shiho box set. You've seen one of the ones that I have yet to actually finish painting on here before, some time ago. And while the Shiho Clan seem to have, you know, more of an archery thing going on, they absolutely have the coolest looking swordsman in all of the Bushido game. These dudes are just rocking it. And they also have quite a few female fighters that are just as capable as the men of the clan. Like this dude with his arrows getting lit. And we got another little tracker archer guy down here as well as a bit more about the clan themselves. And as always, the rules are available at gctstudios.com, which we will have a link to as well, so you can take a look at the game and the extensive model line as well. Now this was shrink-wrapped, but I eagerly ripped it off to take a good long look at the models included inside. Alright. Shiho Takuya. Why do I feel like I already have a model of him? I don't know. We've got all the rules there. Various rule sets. Sayaka. Yusuke. And more equipment. So then who are the other dudes? Am I missing cards? That's weird. You would have assumed that there would have been cards for everybody. Oh, huh? that's because there are. Wimpy. Shiho Wimpy. And Kazuki. Kazuki de gozaimasu. Yoroshiku. Let's take a look at them. I'm assuming these are metal. Maybe they're resin. Probably metal. I can't think of many Bushido figures I've seen in resin. Almost everybody's been metal. Not that that's a bad thing. I know some people are turned off by the idea of working with metal models still, but to me, uh, when you make really, really nice ones, like GCT Studios do, I, I'm okay with it. And if I can just figure out how to open the plastic, we'll grab the other sets of baggies here too. There we go. Sadly, no dogs this time. One dog's got to get the other sets. Alright, here's our sword master, dude. And I know, you know, if you're not interested in the actual Bushido game, these are still quite rockin' models that are going to look just as awesome in any other game. They are 3D sculpted, I believe, because I've seen renders of just about everything. And the detail really does come out there. Nice sense of movement. A lot of fun stuff to paint. And then a big, thick sword. That's always been one of my biggest gripes with the game, is sometimes the pieces can be really thin. And our flashy looking hat there. That was what? Takuya. As the camera shakes and vibrates in intensity, waiting for more models to see. Why it does that? I have absolutely no clue. Maybe I'm just too zoomed in. I believe... This is supposed to be a Kazuki. I thought that the fire was going to be a separate piece, but I guess it's actually attached there to the slot for his slot -a base. Yes, these are all going to be using 30 millimeter slot -a bases. Some of you might not be cool with that, but they're not that hard to snip. Here we have his bow and a nice bent arrow. Again, gotta say, considering I've built painted and used quite a few of the Bushido figures over the years. Uh, these feel a lot more sturdy and thick than some of the older models. In fact, I've got a set of guys that I am waiting to finish doing a video on, and I just have not done it because they are so thin, and I've broken them repeatedly, and I'm just like, they're sitting in a box looking at me right now, I ain't gonna do it yet. Alright, let's see, up next we have Sayaka. Sayaka looking a lot like her friends. That face is going to be a challenge and a half to paint with her hair and that cape blowing away in the wind there. 
this big gap right here because that's where her wee hat and blades are gonna go. And then we got a nice bent pole arm that's gonna need to get molded back into shape. Sheila's got some really nice pole arm users if you're into those types of models, so do take a look out for those. Alright, who is this? This is the other archer. This I'm like looking at the cards here. Hell if I know. Kazuki is the only one that's listed with a bow. Everybody else are all swords. Weird. Maybe you're used to it. Nice pose. Something different. Hat is attached to his head, unlike the others. Bow. Feet. Oh, sorry, not feet. Hand and foot. Not sure what he's grabbing there. A blade. He's pulling his dagger out of his bootstrap. I think that's all his parts. And finally, I'm guessing this is Wimpy. Interesting name. Can I open the package? Ah, it was Yusuke. I just realized he had... I was looking at the katana label, but then he has his daikyu right here. Hadn't noticed that at first, because then I saw the other archer only has a dagger and bow. I would be. I like this model. He just looks tough and arrogant, and to me that's, that's how a badass samurai should look. Well, obviously we're going to have to glue his little hat on his head and get rid of that mold line on the side of his head there as well. Uh, but you can see there's not a whole lot in the way of parts. And I like that. There's been some models from the Bushido line that really required some serious work in getting them up to snuff in terms of tiny little pieces and stuff. But thankfully, that doesn't look to be the case here. Uh, this is very easily manageable. And like I said, you got everything you need there. We got our five figures with all their little bits. And I am going to run away right now, and I'm going to get these guys all glued together, and we will see just how nice they turn out. And the answer is nice, in case you haven't figured that out. But yeah, I gotta go build them. All right, we got our she hole clan all glued together here. Let's start off with the archers, if I can get them in focus better. There we go. Here is Kazuki. Very nice, simple construction. The only member of the group that I have not glued to a base yet, that would be Yusuke. Just because it's going to be a real pain to get a brush in there if he's actually glued onto that base. His hand was somewhat troublesome to attach based at the angle, but you know what, I think in the end it's not going to be that big a deal. And my favorite of the bunch, we got Sayaka. Her nice big Naginata, as well as her swords. And I now realize I could have done a better gluing job. I wanted it flush with the back, but it's not so flush with the front. Oh well. At least her pole arm is pretty much straight. Then we got Wimpy. An interesting name because you don't really have that double consonant of the M and the P in Japanese but whatever I realized what I thought was a mold line is actually the strap of his hat it just looks cool and then finally the coolest of the bunch Tokuya this dramatically blowing cloak. They definitely strike a picturesque pose. 
together. I think they look quite cool. And especially if you have any of the other She-Hulk clan members, I think they're going to look even more impressive together. So I went ahead and grabbed some. I cannot remember his name with his big sword here. And then another of the members, not that we can see her in focus here, with another of the Naginatas. It's a little bit better. My poorly painted patterns on her cloak. And when I grab some of the other figures, like I want to say, what's his name? Hiroto? The crappy tattoo job I did on the back. I actually thought these were the same figures. I still think they might be. I don't know. They look quite similar. And maybe we'll grab one of the Minimoto clan as well. I mean, there's just no denying. The Bushido models look really, really nice. Uh, the fact that you don't need tons of them for a game is also a big plus. The rules are free, all the cards you need are included. I, I'd say that is definitely a nice touch. The biggest challenge is just getting a hold of the figures. Um, they're not the most easy to come by, at least here in the States. And it also bears worth mentioning the fact that they scale absolutely fantastically with Shadows of Brimstone Forbidden Fortress models. So if you're in need of even more, you know, samurai stuff for your board games, might be something worth thinking about. Of course, are there going to be any match for my giant Oni Dragonborn guy? I don't know, but we'll stick him to the side. So yeah, definitely a very nice looking set of models. And I'm hoping, because I can't wait to paint Takuya and Wimpy here, I'm hoping that that gives me the energy to go ahead and finish up the rest of my Shiho clan from the first batch, the Rebellion set or the Renegade. I forget what the official title was, but I've painted, what, three or four of the original models. I believe I still have two archers and their dogs as well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to get all that done soon. Now I've got some incentive too. So like I said, if you haven't had a chance, go take a look at the link down below to GCT Studios' website if you're interested in the game, or if you're just looking for some really swanky looking, nice samurai Japanese inspired models. You definitely can't go wrong with these. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.